Well, welcome again, everyone. There's some very interesting and exciting news to talk about in the world of 4K and Blu-ray. And it's been a while since I did one of these videos, but some stuff stirred up that I felt like kind of nice to comment on some of the stuff. Kind of stirs up a little bit of something in myself. And sort of with a bit of a splash here, James Cameron has confirmed some details, some upcoming potential 4K releases of his own films. One being The Abyss. Now, we've kind of commented on this thing for years and years. It's been news crawling out of crevices here and there and everywhere. It's like back in 2016 at a Comic-Con thing for like a 30th anniversary thing for aliens. He talked about, oh, we got a wet gate transfer that's pretty close to being out the door and stuff like that. But then it was like three three years later, we got some stuff from Skip Kimball, the colorist, doing an HDR grading on the film. And some of the little things kind of going up, down, and around and nowhere. But recently he did confirm to a French journalist, Arthur Sios of Convini, that he is expecting a release of The Abyss in 4K no later than March of 2023. Let's hope like hell is going to happen because it's been, like I said, forever and ever. I did a whole video on this along with True Lies about why this stuff hasn't come and where's the the holdups and the snags and all this other type of stuff. You can go back and watch that. And hopefully it'll be, hopefully the video will be completely irrelevant, at least to a partial degree. In a couple of months, we still have nothing to do about True Lies, but People said that the transfer that's up on Hulu right now is a newer transfer than it was before. That was from like the old like, uh, what the hell it was, HD VHS type of thing they had going on back in the day. Like high definition 1080i video tape they had back 20 years ago. Short lived format, but you can watch my video and get more about that. But nothing so much on True Lies, but definitely the best is getting stirred up really close to that since he's doing the Avatar Way of Water press round, stuff like that. So. At least someone decided to pitch the, the question and get something out of it. There been more rumors about some new bonus features that kind of made ages ago. We don't know a thing like that, but most likely we'll get all the legacy stuff from the Lasers and the crusty old DVD set and everything like that. So, hopefully they'll come out and be confirmed with the next couple of weeks or something like that. That we'll get a press release saying is this and everything. And it'll go off very nicely. But also, shifting over to stuff he has at Paramount Pictures is Titanic. That he also confirmed that there's going to be a 4K re-release of the film theatrically in February. So hopefully that means 4K transfer is set. We're going to do a re-release and then eventually get a physical copy of it and all the other great stuff. So people have been talking about that for a long while. One of the biggest films ever released. Especially would be the thing to get up on all the big formats. They did a 3D version ages ago. But hopefully this will be brand new color grade, all that type of stuff. Nice restoration. And we'll go crazy for it. So there's that. And so, moving off from that, but still staying in the Paramount Pictures area, is that retailers have gotten some information about a potential Star Trek The Next Generation Movies 4K collection coming out in April. Now, we previously had First Contact debut in 4K on Paramount+. Plus. It's about around August or so, they, they put that up there and then it kind of left the service and they licensed stuff out and now it's circling out. Last year, they were up on HBO Max, but God knows whatever. But they did debut a 4K version of that, so I, fe fe I felt that spring was probably when it was going to happen. They already had First Contact done. It probably was going to take too much longer to get the other three films set up for the formats. I figured it probably would be spring instead of the September release. People were kind of figuring since the last couple of release schedules for the Star Trek films were in September, but I felt like they're probably pretty far along in this thing. So if that pans out to be true, we'll be getting the 4K versions of everything in April or so. So I'll probably get probably the same old sound mixes, but we'll probably get Dolby Vision upgrades and stuff like that, the HDR 10s, and probably just port over all the legacy bonus features from all the previous Blu-rays and the DVDs and stuff like that. And uh, you can go check out my recent review of Star Trek Generations if you're so much interested in it, because I put a lot of work into that, and hopefully it'll be good on that. But I also did one for First Contact a couple years ago, so got about half of them covered, and it might be all I do, but I, I would if they're going to release a box set, I'll probably will get the box set, but we'll see if they do box set plus individuals or if they put out the individuals months later we don't know anything beyond the fact that they have something dated for april but getting off on some stuff that is owned by paramount they, they have licensed now over to keen laura as they've been doing for a lot of stuff face off nick cage john travolta they announced it this past sunday on christmas nice christmas gift for everyone saying that they would be doing a brand new 4k dolby vision mess for the entire film and, of course, it just announced the title. They have no details on specs, but, of course, they'll 
almost certainly port over all the old legacy bonus features and maybe get some new stuff on there as well. They're, they've been pretty good about doing that. Like they did the, the one for usual suspects, they poured everything over from the old MGM DVD and they did the whole thing with Hard Target from Universal. Got brand new interviews, a whole bunch of other stuff. So we'll see exactly what happens in a couple of months. But hopefully that'll be a fantastic thing for everyone to grab hold of. And it's got to wait, get that trifecta of Nick Cage action films. See if Disney will break over in the vault and do remasters for Con Air and The Rock. So we'll see if that goes off in any time whatsoever. But another thing from Paramount directly is a much anticipated title is Dragon Slayer. A thing that... I believe it was a co-production between Paramount and Disney back in the day. Now this big 80s fantasy adventure film starred Peter McNichol, who you'd later know from Ally McBeal, but of course Janos from Ghostbusters 2. But they're putting a whole bunch of fantastic things on this thing. First off, new company from the director of Matthew Robbins and Guillermo del Toro. He's joining in on that thing, so I can think that he probably grease a few wheels and try to get that pushed forward and stuff like that. But you got a whole bunch of new special features, new screen tests, new Dolby Atmos mix, a couple of featurettes, and the original theatrical trailer, and some other interesting things, including a Steelbook edition. So you're going to get, get your own Blu-ray editions, you're going to get the 4K editions, and all that type of stuff. That is dated for February 21st. So I know that's been something that's been stirred around a lot, because again, in co-production to, between two different studios, you didn't know who really had the main distribution rights, or who just could actually put it out and remaster it, stuff like that. So... A lot of people are really very much anticipating that release. And I think there is some other stuff where like Industrial Light Magic worked on that film. And there was always that weird photograph out there between the Rancor and the dragon. So it's kind of a really scary image here or whatnot. But I always saw that image and stuff like that. But it's been something that everyone's been clamoring for for an extremely long time. Because it's been kind of absent from home video for a long period of time here. But what more dragon stuff... Shout Factory is going to be doing a 4K edition of Dragon Heart, the Dennis Quaid, Sean Connery film that's placed in the 90s with the very 90s CGI, but we'll see how it holds up a new transfer and stuff like that. But they only dated also for February 21st. So get double dragon helpings and stuff like that. Not double dragon, but just two dragon films you get on, get on that date in 4K if you're so inclined. But moving on, shifting over from Shout Factory to Scream Factory, of course they've been announcing stuff new 4K titles, and one of those was the Dawn of the Dead remake from Zack Snyder and writer James Gunn. And nothing new in terms of bonus features, but they did announce that they will be doing a 4K version of the unrated cut, but it's a remaster, a 4K remaster from the print of the theatrical edition with a 2K upscale of the unrated footage, so we'll see just how well they marry all that stuff together. And there's no word of Dolby Vision on this release as of yet. So you can kind of figure it's just HDR10, but it's kind of weird because everything I believe they've done 4K has had a Dolby Vision HDR transfer. So we'll see once we get a little closer to release date, but it is January 31st, so it's only about a month from now. I'd imagine if they had that information, they would have released it already because the grade would have to be done by now if they're getting into the process of actually pressing the physical discs within the next couple of weeks. So, see if anything else cracks on that, but that's what's listed on their website. No Dolby Vision grading listed, but you'll be able to get a whole bunch of things if you're very much a fan of it. Delve into it and stuff like that, but um, me and Steve Fraser are going to be tagging a lot of the George Romero films, plus some of the remakes of them, so eventually we will get around to a commentary of that film and stuff like that, so here, all, all that great stuff. We'll get into that and be very excited to do so, but uh, Kind of an interesting little thing here involved with Sylvester Stallone and everything like that is the the Rocky films are kind of... They've had new transfers put together for all the Rocky films. Brand new ones that have been approved by Sylvester Stallone. But it's kind of hanging up in the air exactly who's releasing it because, of course, MGM owns the films, but they've been licensing stuff out to different distributors over the years. They've had things with, like... Then they had Sony, then they had Fox, and stuff like that. And maybe it's going to land with Warner Brothers, because news from Digital Bits was the fact that whoever was set up as the independent distributor for this potential set backed out of the agreement. Who knows whatever, what the details are, who's doing what or whatever, what broke it apart, Lord knows. But the fact is, they're kind of looking for who's going to release this. They're kind of, people are figuring maybe Warner Brothers, I guess they probably have a current licensing deal with them. 
So hopefully that will swing back around and link up in that regard. But they become an interesting, kind of fantastic thing. Get all the Rocky films in 4K. I think they look pretty nice. I look, they had a great upgrade from DVD up to 4K, on, up to Blu-ray. So they had this DVD set, which had like DVDs from all different versions. It was something I bought you. So had different, different reissues and whatnot, different pressings and whatnot. But I got the Blu-rays and looked fantastic when I got them. And I really love them. But of course, I'm sure it'll look absolutely stunning in 4K. And we'll probably get the a physical release of the director's cut of Rocky IV that's been kind of bandied about and debated and whatnot, how good it is, anything like that. But hopefully that will be one big set and maybe get some new interviews or commentaries from Stallone and some other people. We'll see what happens. But that is kind of hanging up in the air for 2023. Once you get more solid details and a proper press release, I'll probably share that out with you guys in due time. But something else I'm very much anticipating is from Second Sight Films here, and that's the restoration of The Hitcher, the Rutger Hauer film. Now, this is the whole thing where they eventually did, through Warner Brothers, find the original negative. Now, the previous Blu-rays available of it were restorations done from theatrical prints. So this is a brand new restoration, right from the original camera negative, and they are going right through it, and they're figuring that the entire thing is going to be finished right around, I think, maybe February or March or whatnot somewhere around there, and then they kind of project out a summer 2023 release for this restoration. So, Second Sight Films is a UK-based distributor, so the Blu-rays will probably be region uh, locked to region B, but of course, 4Ks tend to be region free, so they should end up releasing that. You might have to import it. No word whatsoever on anyone in the States grabbing up uh, rights to do it for themselves, but maybe once they're closer to finishing the restoration, maybe someone else will work out rights in the U.S., and you won't have to import it, but we'll see what goes on, but here and there and everywhere. So I'm very much excited for that. I've been putting out video on hold for the Hitcher since like 2016. That's the first time I really kind of figured I wanted to do one, but since the DVD of it in the U.S. is really not good, even though it's an anamorphic transfer, it's not a very good transfer. It's not a good master. I've just put it off for over six years now. So once this hits, I'll be very much kind of interested to jump into it and just cover it completely on the channel here. But we'll see where that goes in the next several months and how they announce any additional specs on the whole thing in terms of audio, HDR grading, and a special feature of the interviews, commentary, stuff like that. There was a UK special edition DVD that had a commentary and a documentary on it. So hopefully they'll, they'll get all that collected in this release. But once we have something official, I'll let you guys know. But MVD Rewind is getting a new uh, new 4K edition. They're really just just announced like Rain Man they're doing as their first 4K title. This one's a bit of a, a different avenue on that regard because it's Wes Craven's version of Swamp Thing. But uh, kind of a nice cult film in that regard. And they're getting that up with a theatrical version and an unrated international version on this entire release. No release date announced as of yet, but hopefully in the near future they'll get a little more details out there and... Get a few more specs on this release coming forward, but really kind of interesting thing. Kind of, kind of waiting around quite a while for this whole thing. Where the original Texas Chainsaw Master is getting a 4K release from MPI Media Group and Dark Sky Films, the ones who previously released the, the massive Blu ray set on it. Now, this is being dated for February 4th. It's going to have deluxe Blu ray and 4K Steelbook editions. And they have a brand new documentary on the whole thing, plus all the other legacy bonus features from the previous releases are going to be included on this whole thing. But I don't know how many 16 millimeter films have been restored in 4K, so we'll just see how the results for the, the entire process goes off in this whole thing. If there's really that much more you get out of, going from maybe a 2K scan to a 4K scan off a 16 millimeter where there's not a lot of extra surface area on the freaking film stock to really grab that much out of. But we'll see how it goes along and see what happens in that regard. But kind of the big thing is that Warner Brothers is going to be celebrating their 100th anniversary this coming year. And they kind of teased a few titles here and there. The, the, the big one we're talking about is them doing a Superman 4K set. Now, this is being dated for around April or so this coming year. And there, there was some information that came out from capedwonder.com, but... What a reason. They retracted that information. They deleted all their social media posts about it. So I don't know if there was something that they wanted to double check with Warner Brothers before they really kind of went any further with it, answering further questions from fans, or if Warner Brothers got on them from releasing a bunch of information that they didn't feel was kind of 
their place to do. So take this as a little bit of kind of rumor, kind of speculation, kind of like unconfirmed news is kind of maybe possibly true. But uh, it kind of stems out from the fact that the 4K release previously of Superman the movie, some people have said there's kind of some problems with it in terms of like the HDR grading. Some things were not done to the highest standards you possibly could. I know there's a lot of positive reviews at the time it was first released, but I think like a lot of people found some issues with it over time. Apparently the word is that they're kind of going back to zero and kind of redoing the whole thing kind of from the ground up and kind of redoing a new scan and stuff like that and new grading and stuff like that. They're doing a more of a fresh, long form restoration on it. That's what's being heard. And this is going to include all the sequels, two, three, and four. And apparently the Richard Donner version of Superman 2, which potentially is getting some additional work done in some regards. I don't know exactly what they're doing. But apparently, like, at least there's probably going to be a new grade on the whole thing. Some of the things they're doing here and there. So I don't know exactly what they're doing in detail here. But hopefully they're doing a little extra work on it. Because it does... I've always had problems with it. I just feel like it's a little too patchwork. There's some things that really need a lot more finessing in the whole thing. I don't think they're really going to do a lot of things like editing-wise. Because obviously Donner's passed. And this is something he approved many, many years ago. So you don't want to start re-editing the whole thing, but hopefully they'll at least do some upgrades to the visuals. Maybe they'll do some of the audio mix that kind of improves things here and there. It's not quite as cut and paste. We'll see what happens. We have no idea. No idea. Just kind of things you're hoping for. Maybe things they can finesse things here and there in that regard. But the word is they're not doing any other extended versions. They're not going to do like the TV cut of the, uh, or the special edition of the first film or any of the TV cuts of the other ones. as not being said to be included in this whole thing, but... As April's still a little while away, we don't have any official press release or anything like that or confirmations. Things can still change. So hopefully they're doing very respectful work. Hopefully even Quest for Peace needs some work done on it. Just in terms of like redoing some of the opticals or something like that. I don't know how much rigorous work they're putting into this whole thing, but... If they don't do some of this stuff now, it's probably never going to get done. So we'll see exactly what happens and what word comes out officially. So there's some ways to go on this whole thing. So like I said, Kate Wonder pulled all their posts and all the articles from their website. Kind of deleted everything so we don't know exactly what the reason was. But until we get more word from Wonder Bros directly, anything is just kind of swirling around in the ether in that regard. So... That's everything I have to report on this point in time, but I, I don't know the exact number of films Warner Brothers was saying they were going to do 4K restorations on, but it's, a, it's not a big number, but it's kind of a, uh, I, I, there's at least a couple of titles that are going to be do working on it, like definitely need one for the Lethal Weapon, I think that definitely needs it, definitely deserves it in terms of Richard Donner stuff. If we could get another a Lethal Weapon box at 4K, that'd be fantastic. I think the... The first one is the one that looks the worst on Blu-ray. You have, the, have this original Blu-ray, then there was kind of like a updated one. They put in the like the proper collection box set. Still doesn't look great. It looks a little murky. You need some additional restoration work done. It says so like second, third, and fourth films do look fantastic on Blu-ray. The first one just needs that upgrade and needs a new polish and everything like that. So hope that comes around and we'll hear more about Warner Brothers Slate in the next coming months. So guys, let me know if you thought of any, any of these are very exciting. Of course, The Abyss, Titanic, stuff like that. Stuff that's been clamored for a very long time. Hopefully coming out in the next couple of months. So guys, post your comments about what you're very much interested in. What you're kind of hoping for in that, in that uh, sort of Warner Brothers slate of 4K restorations. Stuff like that. So guys, let me know. Post comments and like and share and subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks so much guys. Take care. Bye bye.